Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, August 31st, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is passion focuses my one unto myselfness. And today we are building into the eclipse, the solar eclipse. It's actually happening tomorrow morning in the 2 a.m. hour Pacific time. Um, so new moon, solar eclipse. This means we are in the dark of the moon. We're building to this powerful event um, that's asking us to shift. Eclipses bring major change. And the only uh, main astrological shift that we have today is the moon shifting into Virgo, preparing us for this energy. So that's what I'm going to do today is prepare you for this eclipse energy. And I'm going to show you a card because I was like thinking this. I was like, it's going to be a moment to moment thing through this energy. And I literally pulled the moment to moment card. I think there are going to be those moments of seizing that passionate energy. And I think there's going to be moments where you're going to feel like that caterpillar on the floor dissolving. I was just laying on the floor back there with my cat, that's Lala, <laughs> and I was imagining myself dissolving as a caterpillar, dissolving and letting those cells rebirth themselves and create my wings, create my flowering, my blooming energy into this next moment. Eclipse energy does this. Now how it wants us to work with it at the nine degrees, um, it has a creative element, it has the element of passion, and what I'm getting, you know, being that this is Virgo, is this is transformation, evolving our sense of ourself, a sense of a reality. And this is through our physical body, by paying attention to the signals that your physical body is giving you, whether it is about your passions, which I think when we engage with our passions, whether it's passion for art, passion for being, passion for knowledge, whatever that is, it lights up our physical body. So noticing that which lights you up and letting that draw you forward, letting that bring forth your focus, or whether it's noticing the things that don't feel good and letting yourself process them, not letting yourself ignore them, but being present for those parts because those parts, regardless of how they feel for you, have been a part of your journey. They're part of your journey from caterpillar to butterfly. They're part of this energy that we're dissolving on the floor like that little cat right there. <laughs> so cute. Um, so we're moving through this energy. And what I've been telling people is what I think is uh, pertinent to this energy, what I think is important is that the universe wants us to get to a place where we're in union with ourselves. We are cooperative uh, components when it comes to every part of ourselves. So this means when we are saying yes, when we're saying no, when we're saying, when I'm giving you this astrological message, there's no part of me that's like, I don't know if I really think that or if I really believe that. Every part of me is like, yes, this is true. This is true for me. This is what coming into union, coming into one unto yourselfness is. So Virgo, Virgo is the sign of the virgin. Virgin, the true meaning, is to be one unto yourself. So this eclipse, this change is helping us drop those shadows, dissolve that energy where you're still being pulled apart from who you really are, where you're not being true to that one unto yourself, where you're not being true to the passion, where you're not being true to the source, the inner creator that you are. And only you can really say where these energies are and how to release them, how to dissolve them like the caterpillar cells. I keep coming back to that butterfly butterfly analogy. Now what's interesting in this prep for this eclipse with the dark of the moon and the stuff coming up is that we still have Mercury. Mercury just went retrograde, 29 degrees, still that master degree. If you are listening, the universe will be happy to help you. But that's gonna be the key, listen. Listen for the cues, listen for the signs. And part of that listening is not just here in the mind. We've got Mercury retrograde in Virgo. We listen with the body. So your body signals will show you the where and the how. We also have Saturn and Neptune at 10 degrees, kind of pulling this energy out here, stretching us, you know, sending us information, information that we've learned a long time ago, information, you know, from teachers and church and all of those things. Some of this may 
help you in this. And some of this may be some of that energy that you need to release. You're going to have to feel through, be one unto yourself to move through and into this energy. And like I said, it's a moment to moment thing. The highs and the lows today as we build to this, I think are going to be like one of those roller coaster things. Keep engaging with your passion. Keep moving back into that focus. What's important to you? What brings in that full-bodied feeling, that full-bodied appreciation of being here and painting, creating, painting your life? So the Sabian symbol for this nine degree Virgo um, solar eclipse is an expressionist painter at work. And this reminds us that by focusing our energy, we are creating our life, our lives on a moment to moment basis. And there's gonna be times where we're gonna create and work with these sorrows. And there's gonna be times where we're gonna create and work with the energy of playfulness. It's remembering yourself as the painter, remembering yourself as the creator, and remembering what this intense focus, this gift that we were given of intense focus, what it does for you. So it's up to you to see how your life is gonna flower, how your life is gonna grow and bloom, depending on how you are focusing your energy in your life. And even if you are focused beautifully, there's still gonna be those up and down moments. Do not beat yourself up for those. Those are necessary. Those are part of what help us hone that focus. So it's not about like pushing away those moments, but it's like, how is this helping me get better? How is this helping me? How is this helping me dissolve those old caterpillar, you know, wings, those old, not wings, caterpillars don't have wings, caterpillar cells, <laughs> so that I can build these wings and truly fly. So remember yourself, you are this painter, you are this artist, artists painting your life with your focus, with your passion, and be true to yourself. Be in this one unto yourselfness. Evolve your sense of your personal reality by stepping more fully into the embodiment of who you are. That being said, I have the most perfect card. I just got a new deck. Wanted this deck for a long time, and I finally was just like, it's time, I need it, and it was time. And I got the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. And the card I got has butterflies all over it. And it says, the word wants to be written. And basically, it's talking about your creativity and that you don't have to struggle. This is about allowing, allowing through your creativity for you to make your life, create your wings. And part of this energy that they're saying in this card is that what you want to create, your passion, it wants to be created. What you want to write wants to be written. What you want to paint wants to be painted. What you want to dance wants to be danced. What you want to love wants to be loved. Rumi will always say, that which you seek is seeking you. This card is saying that. What you want also desires that energy in return. However, you've got to let go of any remnants of the past that have been in your way. Step firmly over them and onto your path. And this is about forgiving and releasing those things that are distracting you from your focus so that you can focus on what it is that you are creating in your life. And from the Archangels, got some beautiful cards. I've got your Uriel, Archangel Uriel, Abundance. The tree of life brings abundant flow into your life at this moment. The abundance of your creativity and the abundance of you as the creator, that creative ability to bring into your life that which you desire. The core of all abundance is the source, which you are a part of. When you are totally believe in the flow of the divine nectar, the bounty of God is responding in like measure. Develop the muscle of your faith by positive regard of all your amazing achievements. Fill your life with gratitude for the abundance you are receiving. And you can also um, affirm... I am infin infinitely abundant in spirit. I have plenty of wealth and my riches increase every day. And along with that, I have this Archangel again. Archangel Zachiel. I don't know how to say his name. I want to learn how. Um, ecstasy. It says, Zachiel wishes you to know that divine ecstasy can come in at any moment. This is part of this moment-to-moment -moment energy. As a deep feeling of passion for your spiritual growth, for your process, the aspect of your love, whereby your whole being is transfixed with the choice you have made to join the mystical pathway. The two gatekeepers on this path are awe and joy, both of which are closely aligned to ecstasy. As you experience this heightened state, be aware of the whispers of the angels. As you see in the oracle, angels use high-frequency opportunities 
to impart sacred loving information to us about our journey. They give our higher self information about a choice we need to make or how to open vistas of consciousness about our ethical existence. Trust the angels for they will always have your heartfelt interest in their hearts. So there's beautiful opportunity in this eclipse energy and this is about you embracing it and this is why we're going into this today because it's as we build to it that we really get this intensity so be present be ecstatic go through those moments dissolve that caterpillar so that you can build those wings um and i still have my reading cell going so if you're like i need help getting into this evolving sense of my reality help me through i'm happy to do that um you can find that at gaiablooming.com so that is it for today. Have a beautiful day. We're all in this together. Keep going. Embrace your passion. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.